Okay, so today we're going to start working on acrylic painting techniques. You should have a flat brush, you should have a round brush. It's really easy to tell the difference, you guys. The flat brush looks like somebody pinched it up here. Okay, you can see the round brush, not so much. Okay. Now, there are three parts to a brush. Guess what this part is called right here? Blue. The handle. Very good. You guys are so smart. Rock on. All right. How about this part right here? Yeah, the tip, the brush, the bristles. Yeah, yeah. Usually we call it the brush or the bristles. Absolutely. But this part has a name as well. That metal part right there. Ooh, nicely done, Hunter. The ferrule. Yes, it's called the ferrule. So, so you've got three parts to the brush. When you hold the brush, you guys. I like to hold it right about where the ferrule and the handle meet. Now, you've been riding a long time, so the tendency is to want to hold the brush like you're riding. You don't want to do that. You're actually not going to write with the brush. You're actually going to paint, and you're not going to paint with your hands. You're going to paint with so your you shoulder. So you want to kind of see, you kind of want it up here in the, in the tips of your fingers. And then that way, when you're painting, you're painting, you're not doing this with your fingertips. Your hand stays pretty still. You're actually painting with your shoulder. You pull with your shoulder. More control. That's a bigger muscle up there. So that's the idea behind that. Okay? So. You want to press the brush down and see how my see how the point of my brush is, is pretty much right up in the camera. And then you're going to pull with your shoulder. I don't move my hand at all. I don't move my fingers, I just pull straight down. Now you may get two strokes like that and it starts to get fuzzy. You can probably flip it over and do a, a third one. That one didn't have, if it gets like this where it's all fuzzy, you don't have enough paint on the brush. Alright, so you press and pull. Press and pull. Okay. I usually have my little finger on the paper so that it's kind of giving me an anchor. Okay, so think about kind of anchoring and giving... See, see how I've got my little finger on the paper right like this? And then I kind of rock up. Part of it is figuring out what is comfortable to you. Think about what it would be like to write your name with your non-dominant hand. That may be what it kind of feels like with the paintbrush. It feels kind right, of awkward. Now, not only can you paint with the flat of the brush like this, but you can also turn it so that you're painting right here across what's called the chisel edge of the brush. And that's going to give you really skinny lines. And you don't have to press down very hard. Same thing, you press and pull. Press and pull. And see how you get really high contrast? Fat lines here. Skinny lines here. Now, you can combine painting on the flat and the chisel, and you can make a stroke called a comma stroke. Guess what it looks like? A comma. Oh, you guys are so smart. I know. You're doing a question. All right. So when you do the comma, this time, you guys, I want the, the edge of your brush facing the corner, so you're kind of at a 45 degree angle. Ooh, there's math. Yeah. Now, you're going to press the brush towards the opposite corner of the paper, so you're kind of doing a diagonal line, and then you're going to change directions, get up on the chisel edge, and go in the opposite direction. So see how you're going corner to corner. You press down, and then lift up. Oops, that was kind of wonky. Press down, and lift up. Press down, lift up. So see, you've got high contrast because you're on the flat and then you go to the chisel. And you can do that in the opposite direction as well. I don't like doing it in the opposite direction as well, um, but I can. It's good control. Sure. Now be careful. What you don't want to do is this. Press and then come around like that. That's a mess. You want to press and then lift your brush up. So you're, you're pressing down and then you're lifting straight up as you're pulling right, with your shoulder. All right, now we can add another chisel to it and we can paint something called a C stroke. Guess what it looks like? A C. Exactly. Oh, 
We are smart people. All right, so we're going to make it look like a C. This time, instead of at an angle, we're going to be horizontal to the top and bottom of the page. And I'm going to paint with the chisel edge, and then I'm going to press straight down, and then I'm going to get back up on the chisel like that. Like a so yeah, and you can actually do this in any direction. You can do it up and down. So it looks like a U, but it's not. It's still a C stroke, even though it looks like a U. Now again, you guys, be careful. The tendency is to want to be careful at the beginning of the stroke and then to kind of flick that bottom. All right, be careful. You want nice and skinny at the top. Press straight down. Then go horizontal again. Now, you can do something called a double C stroke. This is when this is when you have kind of a hiccup in the middle of your stroke, and it looks like this. It does look like an E, exactly. Good, good inferring. Very nice. So you're going to get on the chisel edge. You're going to press down into the C stroke, and then you're going to kind of do a little bump, like a hiccup. And then back like that. The good thing with this is that this is a real easy way to do flowers really quickly. You can kind of modify that double C or that double C stroke and go like this. Looks 3D. Yeah. How do you do that? I didn't see it. I missed it. I know. You just do it right now. Go on YouTube. See that again. See, so, yeah, and you can kind of do, all right, a flat. So that's a double C stroke. You can also do a, a variation on this where you do the chisel to the flat to the chisel again. This time, it's going to be an S stroke. Guess what it looks like? Yes. Sure it does. Absolutely. All right. So once again, you're going to be on the chisel, but this time you're going to be at a 45 degree angle. You're going to pull corner to corner, and then you're going to press straight down, which is going to put you on the flat, and then you're going to lift again, and it's going to be an S. Oh. Ah, now be careful. You don't want it to look like this. This is not an S. That's a Z. Mm -mm. That's different. The trick is to press straight.